What is up guys, Groge Gaming here. Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. First of all, I just want to say I can't do face cam today because I don't have an iPhone available to actually record my beautiful face. So I'm sorry about that, but it should be back for the next one, so don't worry too much. But yeah, purpose of today's video is this deck. And I know a couple of YouTubers have already covered it. I did want to do a video on it on Monday. I didn't, well, I didn't quite have the time to actually do it. So we're here on Wednesday today doing it. But yeah, so I want to kind of give my tips on the deck. I have had a fair bit of success with it. I got this earlier today. And ignore the four and the one, that was just deck testing. But yeah, I've got a couple more 12s and the nine with it. And also got to 20 wins in the Crown Championship Challenge on another account with this deck. So it is very, very strong right now. It's a great control deck. I would say it's a P.E.K.K.A. control deck. Um, it's not really a P.E.K.K.A. beatdown deck because the P.E.K.K.A. is mainly used just for defending um, to make the opponent use a lot of elixir and then you can surprise them with a hog rider in the opposite lane. You know, that that is kind of like the main aspect of this deck that works really, really well. So what we're going to do is just open up this chest Gonna spam through it and see what we get at the end. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any legendaries, uh, but we got a few decent cards in there. We got the Pekka. And what I wanna do is go through a few replays and then play a couple of live games for you guys just to show you how the deck works uh, and give my kind of tips on the deck. Uh, so, what have we got? I'm actually gonna go through this bait deck because this was quite a hard uh, This was quite a hard game. And I wasn't really expecting to play against this kind of deck in my final game. Um, so let's just watch this. Against bait, I'd usually say uh, save your log for the barrel. But in this game, I didn't really tend to, to be honest. Because I saved my e and goblins and other things for it. So it kind of worked out okay. So splitting goblins is a fine starting move to start with. And obviously I saw the princess. I thought he might have bait, but... Uh, it wasn't too bad. And that placement with the e -Wiz to the right side splashes the two other goblins and actually takes them out. So only one goblin gets a bit of chip damage there. Um, obviously, I was a bit worried at this point because you don't usually see this kind of a push with the miner. Um, so what I actually had to do to save my tower a bit was just throw in the log as well. So that was well played by him. And then we're coming in with a hog push because I know he spent a fair amount of elixir in front of the goblins. And we get a couple of shots, which is not too bad. Um, and here we're just waiting for the princess to actually target and then we're going in with the bats to take her out so that's great and you can be pretty certain that they're going to have an inferno tower in, the, in this kind of a matchup so again I think I yeah the goblin placement was bad I should have placed the goblins on the right corner of the tower the far right corner um, and that would have reduced the damage a little bit there. So that's a little bit of a mistake from me. Um, and again, I'm going to throw in the log. Because I just don't really have anything to deal with those uh, those goblins that were coming in there. He hasn't played his minion horde yet. And that is one of the strongest cards in his deck against mine. So I think he brings it in here. No, he doesn't bring it in here. So this is a bit of a mistake. There we go. I think the minion horde, yeah, the minion horde does such a good job there. So <laughs> I'm definitely a bit a bit worried because I don't have a zap. I only have the log. So that's what I have to do with the e-wiz there just to clean it all up. And I think he gets a nice zap on those bats, yeah. <laughs> but we still managed to take take out the, uh, the princess, which is great. A bit of a mistake from him. And check this out, guys. I don't think he gets any damage here. So this is a good little a trick. If you're struggling against the goblin barrel, you've used your log. You can place the Ice Golem on the, the left hand one and then the Goblins on the other two and that is going to be great. I saw a little bit of value there in the Lightning so I went ahead with that. And simply here all I'm going to do is get an e to reduce the damage. And I think yeah I saw he was going for a long barrel so I'm going to save my log. <laughs> and that, that minion horde is just so strong. Um, so I have to get back to my Ewiz at all times, really. Okay, here I think we do some good... Yeah, some good plays. We re 
retarget the Inferno Tower, and I think we managed to keep the Ewiz alive. So now we're coming in with uh, the Hog as well. And it's going to get through and get a couple of shots on the tower, I believe, but that Minion Horde is super strong. So now I need to get back to my Ewiz again, because he's got that Zap Bait really strong in this deck. Um, so again, he did a tricky barrel, but I managed to save it with an Ice Golem, so uh, well played by him there. And I think what we do here, I'm not really sure what he does. He goes in with Goblin Gang at the back and actually thinks I'm going for a hog push. So preemptively plays his Inferno Tower. And I'm just going to Lightning down that and one Goblin. And that's going to be pretty good. Quickly get back to the Ice Golem to try and soak up some of the minion damage. So that, that is really good against the minions. The Ice Golem and Electro Wiz kind of uh, splash from both of those. And then we're, we're down to, uh, to Lightning and Log Range. So as you can see there guys, as he, I didn't really use the log much on the Goblin Barrel, which I think kind of helped me in a way because I was able to use the log for defending other things. And then that then allowed me to save my Ice Golem and my Electro Wizard for the Minion Horde. Because if I'd have used the Electro Wizard on the Goblin Gang, that would have put me in trouble against the, uh, the Minion Horde. Uh, let's watch this Bridge Spam deck because I know this deck is really, really strong. And I don't know if you guys have any problems with it. But pretty much what I do with this deck is save the P.E.K.K.A. and save the E.W.I.Z. for defending and then surprise them with Hog Riders when I feel like they're low on Elixir. This is a fine time to play an E.W.I.Z.ed because she, uh, he's going to take out the Baby Dragon pretty pretty well. So he tries to spam me but I manage to get the Ice Golem down and I think we take out... Yeah, I think I take out all that stuff really well. Maybe a little bit aggressive with the Hog Rider but I, I thought... Seeing as I do actually have the Ewiz on full health, I'm going to take advantage of that and throw in a little push. We get two shots on the tower. Um, and obviously I know that he's going to come in with a battle round before I've even seen it. So I'm kind of preparing my, uh, my defense. Get the log and the goblins to the left so that goblins actually take out the battle ram. And then what we do is we throw an ice column into the mix to kind of take out uh, the bats and uh, slow everything down. And that's actually going to be pretty good. So, he could have surprised me with the bandit and got a fair bit of damage, but he didn't know to punish. And then he punishes at the wrong time, and I catch him out with a E-Wiz, so that's pretty good there. And then he, he comes in with a Night Witch as well. Uh, not really ideal from him, he's wasted a fair bit of Elixir. So at this point in time, I know that he's got Pekka. Um, so I have to be careful, and I'm just waiting for him to, to overspend Elixir, which he actually does here. Um, the Battle Ram and the Baby Dragon are going to be soaked up by the P.E.K.K.A. And then I believe I push the opposite lane once he, dro once he drops the... yeah, so... I should have waited just a moment there for him probably to drop his own P.E.K.K.A. on mine. Um, but that wasn't too bad at all. Going to try and take out the Pekka with the bats. And then we're going to try and deal with the bandit as well with the goblins, which is going to be great. I think he spams even more stuff. Yeah, so he comes in. Uh, we get the baby dragon retargeted. We protect our own Pekka with the ice golem, which is great. And then the ice golem actually slows everything down. So you want to protect your Pekka at all times. Try and give him as much health as possible when you're actually um, when you're defending. So shove goblins in front of him. Shove, shove ice columns in front of him to give him as much health going into their, their side of the arena as possible. So, I guess the Ewiz wasn't great there, but it kind of drew out these troops from him. So if you see here, I go for a great lightning. Catch uh, eight elixir worth of things. And then he, he kind of soaks into my Ewiz even more. And we're going to be able to take it out with uh, the goblins. So here, as I said before, what we do is we throw down the P.E.K.K.A. and then the Ice Golem in front because the P.E.K.K.A. hasn't even hit my P.E.K.K.A. yet. There we go. And my P.E.K.K.A. has kept a lot of health on his... a lot of his health. So what I'm doing here is just waiting to surprise him because he's got a lot to deal with on that right-hand side. And basically he needs to deal with it, otherwise it's going to take the tower and he just doesn't. So that's what that little hog trick did. 
Um, it forced him to use too much elixir in the left-hand lane and he couldn't defend the P.E.K.K.A. So that worked out really, really well for us. And what it is with this deck is it's pretty much just working out what you need to save to defend and then going on a counter-attack and split pushing. So say if they have a zap with a miner, then you're going to want to use your goblins on the miner because they can't be zapped away. Uh, the bats won't be any good for that. And if you know they have a minion horde, you want to save your ice golem and e-wiz for that. Um, if they have a golem, you save your P.E.K.K.A. If they have a giant, you save your P.E.K.K.A. Um, and what you do is you let them push into you and you form a big P.E.K.K.A. push on one side. And then if you catch them low on elixir, you throw a hog down the other lane, maybe with an ice golem in front and a predictive log or something like that. Um, but now what we're going to do is play one or two live games just to go through the deck a little bit more. Um, hopefully we're going to get a win in the Grand Challenge, so good luck. Um, with this starting hand, what I probably will do is split the bats. Unless he goes very aggressive, I'll go with a P.E.K.K.A. on a Hog Rider or a Battle Ram or whatever he chooses to do. So he's going to do that. I'm going to copy him because the key to this deck is not being aggressive. So I'm going to split the bats down that lane and just see what happens to start with. I'm going to use the E-Wiz there just to clean up the bats a little bit. That's going to be fine. Hopefully that bat retargets. Yes, it does. Um, so I'm going to go in with a Hog Rider. Just, if he drops an, anything fairly small down, we can probably go in with a Lightning. We don't, even, we don't even need a Lightning really, so that's going to be good. Yes, we actually take out the E-Wiz and we get a shot on the tower, so that's pretty good. Which way is the Hog Rider going to go? Um, so he's going to get a couple of shots with the Hog Rider. Probably three at this point. Well played. So we've got a full health P.E.K.K.A going down his lane. We'll just see what we can get going here. Okay, so we're going to want to use that. And then we're probably going to want to push the opposite lane if he zaps. Yeah, so he's going to use the E-Wiz, which is a great Hog counter. And then I think we want to get the Log ready. But check that out, guys. He doesn't seem to have any Elixir for the Hog Rider. Uh, because he used it all trying to actually defend my P.E.K.K.A. So we're going to take the, the tower down into lightning range, I believe. Yeah, 3, 4, 6. And what we're going to do is use some goblins here and then go in with a P.E.K.K.A. over here. Onto the Hog Rider. And that's going to get 2, 3 shots. But then it's going to actually clean up his P.E.K.K.A. as well. So that's, that's pretty good value for defending. Um, and then he 100% has to deal with that P.E.K.K.A. Otherwise, I'm gonna, it's going to punish him. So we will just see what goes on. We'll probably throw some bats in there. Um, we're going to go for an Electro Wizard because the bats are going to come onto my side. Um, but I don't really... Okay, so he's going for a pretty aggressive uh, Lightning there. He's going to have enough of the P.E.K.K.A. But we're probably going to get a couple shots still. So I'm not overly worried at this point. Split the bats, split the goblins, and then get ready for a pretty decent defense over here. Okay, so that was bad by him. I'm just going to log this away. And then we're going to protect the E-Wiz with, <laughs> with the Ice Golem's life. Great sacrifice there, if you ask me. Um, so here we go. We're coming in with a Hog Rider in front of the E-Wiz. I'm not sure what he's going to have to actually defend that. Probably some goblins now. Um, but what we're going to do... Okay. Well played. That was close. <laughs> but I can obviously log away that right tower if needed. But yeah, that was a mirror matchup, I do believe. So that was well played. So we are going again for the final video, for the final game of this video against a really <laughs> boom shaka laka. Uh, nice clan there. So again, just splitting the bats and going to see what he does from there on out. Okay, so he's going to come in with um, a Hog Rider, and it looks like we're going to clean that up pretty easily. It's probably going to get one shot, and then we are going to come in with our Ice Golem and a Hog Rider as well. And it looks like if we can take out all these Goblins, that's probably going to be almost a tower down. Perhaps not. But all we want to just do is get a Log on the E-Wiz, and it's probably going to get one... Yeah, it's going to get one hit onto the tower, which isn't too bad at all. Um, because we managed to maintain a decent elixir lead as well as a good damage lead too. Um, so again, just going to split stuff uh, and see what he does from there. 
I'm not really... I'm just going to wait a second because I don't want to put anything down yet. Um, I feel like it's probably the same deck again. Because this deck is so strong, everyone knows about it, really. Is he just waiting? Because I'm waiting. Um, we're just going to sit on 10 Elixir for now because there's nothing wrong with that at this moment in time in the game. Unless he's given up and I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it anyway with the hog rider. Yeah, it looks like this guy's given up. I'm not entirely sure why he probably could have came back from that. But there we go, free win for us. Okay, maybe not. That's weird. <laughs> Is he just giving me a towel for free? Maybe he lagged out. I'm not really sure, but I was nice and I waited. Here we go. So we are going to come in with the log. The ice golem is going to clean up the bats, and that's just going to be great. The hog rider goes down with one or two shots, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, so all the bats are going to get taken out by the uh, by his tower. So the pecker's coming in for the hog. The e is going to slow it down as well, and that's going to be good. And then what, watch this, guys. So this is what you want to do. Protect your P.E.K.K.A. at all costs. And mine is going to have full health going onto his side of the arena. Unless it was for that, um, that lightning. So we're just going to lightning this and probably take out the tower, to be honest. Uh, one more. Yeah, one more swing and we take out the tower, so... I know he kind of gave up, but the kind of principle of the deck still applied there. And you can see how strong it is for defending as well. So that's going to be great. Um, and we're going to end the video there. So as I said before, save these guys for defending and kind of work out what works best against your opponent's deck, whether it's the Ice Golem or the um, or the Goblins. You know, if they don't quite get a preemptive log in there, the Goblins can be really, really strong. The Bats can be strong if the opponent doesn't have a Zap. And obviously the lightning is just key for taking out chunky defensive troops that you can't get through. The log is great against log bait, so remember, save that. And I wouldn't really use your P.E.K.K.A. against log bait. Just kind of go with these other troops and you'll probably be good. You'll be able to get through with um, the Ice Golem Hog Lightning combo. If you need any questions answering, just ask them down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Groge Gang and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.